on the Red Horse Ranch. When we left the Red Horse Ranch, Rose and Mr. Carter were watching quite a sight. Carter's entire herd of cattle, which had been taken by rustlers, came rumbling back to the ranch ahead of Alabama and all his shouting boys of the Red Horse outfit. Perhaps when we join them today, we'll find out just what happened. Here they are, celebrating in the best way they know how, by singing. You get a line, I'll get a pole, honey. You get a line, I'll get a pole, baby. You get a line, I'll get a pole, we'll go down to crawl that hole, honey, baby mine. What are you gonna do when the hole runs dry? Honey. Oh, what are you gonna do when the hole runs dry? Baby. Oh, what are you gonna do when the hole runs dry? Gonna sit on the bank, watch crawl that die. Honey, baby mine. Gotta come the man with a sack on his back. Honey. Got to come the man with the sack on his back. Baby. Oh, oh, the man fell down, but the sack and all them brought that back and back. Yeah, honey, baby, mine. Oh, sell my crawl that three for a dime. Honey. Oh, sell my crawl that three for a dime. Baby. Oh, sell my crawl that three for a dime. Your crawl that no better than mine. Honey, baby, mine. <laughs> <laughs> Hang it all, what's happened now? Yeah, we got enough goings on around here already. What's up anyway? Come on and get a look. It's Tex Owen. He's down in the corral riding every bang-tailed bronc in the lot. As soon as he breaks one of them, he straddles another one. Uh, come on, boys. I gotta see that. What in tarnation has gone wrong with that cow pole? There, you can see him now. Look at that sunfish and critter buck. <laughs> Tex must be glued to the saddle. That guy's is sure swapping ends on him. Let him clean, Tex. Look out. There Tex goes. Well, would you look at Tex eat grass? Want us to pick you up, Tex? <laughs> don't, don't you mavericks bother with me. Bring, I'll bring on another one of them Bronx. I'll ride him. Well, jumping rattlesnakes, Tex. You've rode about every Cayuse on the lot now, ain't you? Yeah. Them that didn't throw me. <laughs> <laughs> Tex, get yourself on over here and explain it. Uh, what are you riding yourself to death about? Oh, I'll tell you that, Alabama. When Tex gets all head up, he's got to blow off steam somehow. He sure <laughs> picked a nice, easy way to do it. Had yeah. enough, Tex? Come on, boys, let's sing something to cool him off a little. Yeah. <laughs> A candlelight down in the little green valley Where morning pony vines are twining round the door Oh, how I wish I 
was there again down in the little green valley. More than my homesick heart would trouble me no more. There's only one thing ever gives me consolation. And that's a dream that I'll be going back someday. And every night down upon my knees I pray the Lord to please take me back to that little old green valley far away. <laughs> oh, Tex, I sure thought you were doing plenty of blowing off when we met up with them rustlers. Hey, how about me? I was just starting to get mad. Oh, fighting them rustlers at Roaring River was about as much gunplay as I want to see in a long time. <laughs> yeah, I guess every one of them rustlers is locked up in the Roaring River jail by now. Yeah, all except Dawson, the leader of the mob. I'm glad it was the sheriff's posse that got him rather than us. Well, the main thing we've got to feel good about is that we got the red horse herd home again, That's safe and sound. That's right. right. That's and as soon as Dad Carter gets back from Danville, we'll know what luck he had selling that herd. He sure needs the money if he's going to save this ranch. Well, what about Sheriff Simpkins' attachment on the Red Horse Herd? Yeah. Well, if you remember right, Bob, the sheriff never did serve that attachment. That's right. Dad may get things fixed up before Simpkins has another chance. Well, that just leaves Bradford to be took care of. Hmm. And he's got plenty coming to him, believe me. Say, Alabama, what about that letter, the one from El Paso? That'll prove what sort of a fellow Bradford was. What's that, tenderfoot? Well, who've you been telling about that letter? Oh, it's all right, Alabama. Tenderfoot told us about it the day when you was missing. He seemed to think that letter's gonna sort of clear up things about Bradford. Well, it was going to. What? What do you mean, Alabama? Well, I might as well tell you. The letter's gone. Well, the letter's gone. Well, who Bradford and his men were careful to go through my pockets after they slugged me back in that saloon. Oh, I reckon we can't count on that letter none. Say, it's a good thing for Bradford I ain't running into him. Yeah, he couldn't knock you out by hitting you in your head. <laughs> Ma, when you say them words, Cheyenne, boy, I'm a hot-blooded greaser. Hey, Arizona, <laughs> give me back my kerchief. What's the idea here? Boys, huh? I'm going to show you how he used to dance a fandango over in Phoenix. Give us some Spanish music, boys. Muy mucho. Now watch the scenery just flock well, in. What is it? <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Hachi, hachi, hachi. Watch this step. I got something. Yeah. Play it hot, cause I got Spanish blood in me veins. Arizona said he was going to attract some senoritas, and oh. here you come. Oh, shucks. Is that you, Miss Rose? Take this kerchief, Jennifer. Oh, <laughs> well, would you look at Rose in that pretty blue dress? Oh, do you really like it? Go on, Tenderfoot. It's your move now. Uh, Tell her you like it. Huh? Oh, well, uh, sure is pretty, Rose. Oh, thanks. Pretty as I ever saw. Uh, I suppose we sing. <laughs> Tenderfoot. I swear to goodness, I'm about to give you up. Well, I think that was a good idea, Tenderfoot. I haven't heard you boys sing for a long time, you know. Sing my song. For a little girl dressed in blue, That's boys, let's go. Yeah. Oh, she's 
she almost drives me crazy and i don't know what i'll do if i don't find that pretty little girl that i saw dressed in blue she almost drives me crazy and i don't know what i'll do if i don't find that pretty little girl that i saw dressed in blue i fell in love with a pretty little girl her name i do not know yeah. i meet her in the evening wherever i may go Wears a white lace handkerchief, it's marked with T and U. Yeah. I'll know her when I see her, the little girl dressed in blue. Oh, she almost drives me crazy, and I don't know what I'll do. If I don't find that pretty little girl that I saw dressed in blue. She almost drives me crazy, and I don't know what I'll do. If I don't find that pretty little girl that I saw dressed in blue. I met her on the street one day, she looked at me so shy. Know, and when yeah. the horses saw her, they both began to fly. Oh, yeah. They ripped and reared and tossed and scared, and down the street they flew. Woo. Until I passed that pretty little girl, the little girl dressed in blue. Sure. Oh, she almost drives me crazy, and I don't know what I'll do. If I don't find that pretty little girl that I saw dressed in blue. She almost drives me crazy, and I don't know what I'll do If I don't find that pretty little girl that I saw dressed in blue Yeah, yeah. 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 Say, now where in thunder well, did Alabama and Rose go to? Why, they are gone. Well, it I seems won't... you missed your chance, Tenderfoot. Oh. Well, let's keep up with the music. Play something for us, fellas. Uh, yeah. Oh. But, Rose, the boys won't like us walking off from them like this. Oh, but, Alabama, I just had to see you alone. I, oh, I don't know what I can say to... Oh, what's troubling you, Rose? Well, of course you know, Alabama. It's the way I treated you when you came back from Danville the other morning. Oh, I don't know what made me do it. Well, that's all right, Rose. I guess it did look as though what Steve Bradford said was true. But I should have known better. Alabama, I know you hadn't been drinking. Please tell me now, did Steve Bradford have anything to do with your being gone all night, the night the rustlers came? Well, I might as well admit it, Rose. You see, I didn't want to say anything about it till I could prove what I was talking about. Oh, but, but, Alabama, you should have told us. Oh, we owe everything to you now, Dad and I, for the way you went after those cattle thieves and brought back the herd. Oh, don't give me the credit for that, Rose. The rest of the oh, boys yes, were Oh, yes, I know. I'm going to try to make Dad understand because he wants to trust you. You've asked him to hold on to the ranch, and you see, he just can't understand what reason you could have for insisting that he do that. Oh, can't you tell me? Oh, please don't ask me to tell you just yet, Rose. You see, if I'm wrong in what I think, I don't want you to be disappointed. And do you still believe that something else is going to happen to save the ranch? I'm sure of it. <laughs> but what could it be? <laughs> You'll know soon. And we wonder why Alabama is so sure something's going to happen soon. Be sure and listen again for the Red Horse Ranch and hear what news Dad Carter brings to the boys about the sale of the herd.